Hello again and welcome to the Dev channel. Today we will go over creating full CRUD RESTful API which has the create, edit, delete and uh, returns the list of items in a to-do list. Obviously the APIs will be serving a to-do list. So to get started the prerequisites you must have Django framework installed uh, in your local machine and you must have HTTP client software like Postman or a browser extension like uh, Reset for Firefox or any other applications that could uh, help you to do HTTP request is fine too. If you have Django installed into your machine with Docker, that will be the best option or without Docker is fine too. If you want to learn how to install Django with Docker, just watch my previous videos I will put the link for these videos in the description. Okay, let's get started. Here we have a Django installed into my machine and let's go over the files really quick of what we have from the previous videos or if you're just watching my video the first time, we have a Docker Compose that has one service which is my Django and also we have the docker file that pulls the python 3.7 image and build the following packages django 2.1.0 now to build apis with django i will be using django rest framework and that will simplify the way that we build apis in django uh, if you're using docker again, you just need to add it to the requirements.txt and rebuild the image. If you are not using docker, you could just pip install the, uh, the Django REST framework package. Okay, so for me, as I'm using docker, I will need to cd to this folder and do docker compose up dash dash build dash d. As you have learned from my previous videos, uh, we could rebuild the image and spin up the container again with one command by passing dash dash build to the app command we should be good to go so one one way we could check that the package has been installed correctly to the container by um, sshing to the container with the following command so django compose exec my django and bash here we could say pip list and from there we could tell that Django REST framework has been installed with the following version. You could fix that version in the requirements.txt. That's up to you. It's going to be uh, better for the long term. So, okay, now we have Django REST framework has been installed. The next step is going to be to add Django um, REST framework to the settings.py under your main application, which most likely is going to be the project name. So there we will add a new item called REST framework, come on, and save the file. Uh, from there, we need to create a new app where we add the new API. So the way to go about that, first we need to run the following command, docker compose exec, meaning execute the following command uh, via this service or uh, this container. And the command is going to be python manage.py, which is the entry point or the manager actually of Django. And we will say start app to do list no such a service called my Django. That's because I misspelled Django. Cannot open file that manage that PY. Uh, and that's because we are actually at the root level and manage.py is in a subfolder. We could fix that by doing Python and adding the Django project directory name here, and that should work. As we could see, the file or the folder of the new app has been created, but in the wrong folder. 
because we are doing the mapping in the Docker Compose um, differently from what we should do. So to fix this issue, we want to update the Docker Compose file and do the map of the volumes to the subfolder where it's the Django project only. So here, we, we would want to change two things. First, we will move um, the Docker file to inside my Django, let's spell this correctly, Django project. Let's look for the Docker file. And here we would just say um, run manage.py directly without going to the subfolder. And here we will say Django project. What we are doing here, we are mapping the volumes to the subfolder instead of to the root level here. We are mapping it to this folder. And also we are telling Docker Compose to go look for the Docker file here. And that's exactly what we will be doing. So it's, go, it's gonna go look for the Docker file here and also maps this folder to inside the container, to this path inside the container actually. So let's save this file and we will have to rebuild the image. Compose um, out dash dash build space dash d to detach it from this command line. Meaning we will not see the locks here after the container gets pinned up. Okay, while this is running, I will move the to-do list from the root level to the trash because we want to try creating a new app here instead. Could have just been moving it directly by dragging and dropping it here, but I wanted to show you how to fix this issue if you encounter it. Oh, because we we were trying to look for the manage.py in the subfolder. We'll back out that. And there you go. To do list uh, has been created here. Now the same thing we have done to the um, to the REST framework. We need to go to the settings.py and add the new app to do list. Come right here. Now the next step is going to be to create the model of our API, which is basically a Python class that will represent our um, our DB table. We'll call it to do list. I like the Pascal case when it comes to naming the classes, and we will inherit from the model. And the first attribute is going to be the ID which we don't have to define it because Django will do that for us out of the box. So we will just need to say we need that description field and that's going to be model char field. And with char field, we have to specify the max length. I will give it 150 characters and that's about it. So we'll have two columns in the table, the ID, which is the primary key that Django will define for us, and the description column, that's a char field equivalent to a varchar with 150 characters. Okay, we'll save this, and when we create a model, we need to run um, a two commands in Django uh, manage.py. First one, to create a migration file, that is the um, intermediate file that the next command will use to create the table into the DB, which basically means has a specification of the table. So let's run that. Set Django. The service is called my Django. Um, Python manage.py make migrations. Make migrations command will go look for all the models in all the apps and create a migration file and from there we could just say docker compose exec um, my Django and python manage.py migrate for the folks that are not using docker you could just run the commands starting from python manage 
and blah 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 you don't have to write the first um the first part of the command as you could see all the migrations were run uh, correctly including the to do to do list app now the table has been created with the specification and if you are curious to see the specification file of the migration you could go to the app which is a to do to do list and open the migrations uh, folder and you should see the first migration file that has the specification of the table the id and the description column okay let's move on in this folder we will create another file we will call it the serializer.py serializers actually and we'll have to import from rest framework import serializers and we'll call a class to do list serializer and we will import from serializers model serializer the model serializer is offered by uh, REST framework folks uh, and offer us a simplified version of uh, the serializer object to transform the format of the data in the in the model to a language that Python could understand. Meaning, when we fetch from the table, we will use to-do list instead of accessing the table directly. And we need to translate that data into something we could modify. And that's what the serializer will do. If you didn't understand what I mean yet, we will show you in a bit how you could use that and it will make sense there. So we will need to create a um, subclass called meta. And here we will define fields. And we're gonna be all fields, meaning I want to fetch all the fields of the model which we have to the ID and the description or you could specify a tuple of um, of the columns if you want an individual ones in case of you want to return only the description without having to return the ID one more um, attribute here is going to be the model which we have to import from here to do list model from the current directory which is the to-do list models import to-do list so we have used this here the next step is going to be to create um, a view and to this point this is the end of this video I will continue creating the classes of uh, the views in the next video uh, just so we don't have this video to be very long in the next video we'll define the classes and the different methods and the url that will receive the request and process that here so please if you have any questions or if you need uh, more details about the steps that they have done leave that in the comment i will get back to you uh, with an answer or create a video for that um, so again thank you for watching and see you in the next video